Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? It's that time of the year again, summer in June when everybody is getting married. So what better time than now to ask which anime waifu you would want to marry and which ones you would rather die than to marry? The Japanese community at AnimeAnime.jp has answered, and now we have our most updated list to best waifus and worst waifus of 2017. So let's start with the first list which have the ladies of anime you'd like to marry. At number 10 we have Love Lives Hanayo Koizumi. At number 9 we have Yui from Keon. Number 8 we have Kyoko from Maison Ikoku. Number 7 we have Subasa from the Monogatari series. Number 6 we have Chio from Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Number 5 we have Edu from Hyoka. At number 4 we have Megumi from Saikano. And so we have arrived at the top 3. Obviously by now you have a rough idea of who's at the top. There are two obvious choices left, but who might the third one be? Number three is Krista from Attack on Titan. Number two is Rem from ReZero. Why isn't she at number one? And number one is Asuna from Sword Art Online. Krista actually surprised me quite a bit. She never really stood out to me aside from that one Reiner scene, so I really didn't expect to see her so high up on the list. And where in the world is Saber? She's not even in the top 20. Are you serious? Am I too old for these polls now? And Asuna at the top? Can you please be more predictable, Japan? But okay, I can see why. She's from a wealthy family, she's definitely a better gamer than you are, and she knows how to make great sandwiches. How can you beat that? Another surprising tidbit is that Krista from Attack on Titan actually ranked first from female voters, voting on their best waifus while she did not even make the top 10 amongst male voters. So, all you females out there, can you please tell me why Krista is best waifu in the comments below right now. Alright, next up are the waifus you would rather die than to marry. We have a tie at number 9 being Flay from Gundam Seed and Haruhi from Haruhi. Wow. Number 8 we have Lakis from Gundam Seed, double wow for being ranked higher than Flay. Number 7 we have Fujiko Amine from Lupin the Third. understandable, you probably die from jealousy. Number 6 we have Hanako from Sazai-san. And number 5 we have Chihaya from Chihaya Furu. Number 4 we have Megumi from No Dame. And finally, for the top 3, the top 3 girls in anime that we'd rather die than to marry. We have Yui from Keon at number 3. Number 2 we have Jaiko from Doraemon. And finally, last but not least, we have Hanako from Chibi Maruko-chan. So Yui from Keon actually ranked top 10 in both lists, people want to marry and also people who'd rather die than to marry. I don't think we've encountered a more polarizing anime character just yet. I'm guessing there's a group of people who thinks she's pretty cute, and then you got a group that realizes if you actually had to live with her, she would be pretty hard to stand. Some notable mentions from the list we have are Orihime from Bleach, Nina from Code Geass, both Rei and Asuka from Evangelion, Sakura from Naruto, and Nami from One Piece. Quite a lot of main female leads we have on this list, but I personally would have liked to see Nina from Code Geass break top 10 in this list, but maybe she'll change in the upcoming Code Geass Season 3. Who knows? So there you have it, both lists. I'm sure some of you are flipping out of your seats right now from some of these rankings. So let's hear it from you guys. Who are your top 3 anime ladies you would like to marry? And who are your top 3 anime ladies you would rather die than to marry? Write it in the comments down below right now. Thumbs up the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for Tokyosaurus for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.